Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I wanted to go to Port Aransas this morning and I came over and I got in the ferry line and it's about a one hour wait, which I'm not a big fan of. There's some cactus sticking up there. And I said, you know what? I can wait an hour and then a army of school buses came and they let them go to the front of the line and the line wasn't moving we hadn't moved for about 20 minutes and i said you know what i uh i don't want to do this today plus i'm coming over saturday with my buddy greg so we'll come back saturday i want to be very careful in these mud flats because i don't know the driving condition I do see some tire marks already since the last high tide, so. And I'm on the uh, north side, if you will, of 361. And the ferry landing is about a half a mile directly behind us right now. And I've come under, we've come over here under better conditions I wanted to get over Port Aransas. A lot of people were concerned about the amount of sargasm, the seaweed that washes up. Whenever there's a storm, sometimes it doesn't need, even need to be a storm. There's seaweed in the ocean. I noticed on the uh, Facebook group, everyone was uh, very upset about seaweed at the beach. <laughs> There was also complaints about coyotes in the sand dunes. So um, my solution would be uh, maybe you guys all need to just go to like a swimming pool or something. A nice resort with a swimming pool. Maybe, maybe the beach isn't for you. Or at least the beach in Port Aransas. Plus, if I talk about it, I get to say sargasm which whenever I use the microphone changes to sarcasm. And that's okay with me too. The wind speed is three miles an hour right now. We've never had that. But just to show you that this is going to be an exciting video, I have a topic. I changed my sheets yesterday. Yep, it was a big day. Changed my sheets, hold on. There's your postcard right there. You're welcome. <laughs> I noticed there was no wind and no rain. And I thought it would be an opportune time to change my uh, sheets. And I didn't even get attacked by mosquitoes. Again, this morning, this has been my routine the last few days. I get washed up, shower clean clothes, and then douse myself in uh, that stuff uh, Lisa Bailey and Hammer sent me. It's uh, bug repellent, but it smells like cedar. It actually smells like, it smells like a Walmart cologne. <laughs> the good ones. It smells like Stetson. The cedar has like a sandalwood smell. And then, uh, I back that up throughout the day with blasts of uh, good old fashioned spray with DEET in it. So I, I've chosen to die of cancer rather than die of malaria, having the mosquitoes crawl all over me. It's supposed to be really good fishing back here. And usually it's, it's just too windy to come film here because we would be shooting right into the prevailing wind. I want to thank my buddy Jose. Uh, Jose and his family sent me a very nice birthday gift through PayPal. And it's not my birthday. <laughs> not my birthday for like another four or five weeks, June 22nd. But thank you very much, Jose. And uh, 
if if you didn't send me that gift, Jose, we wouldn't be over here filming today. We'd be uh, someplace closer to Rockport. Not that there's anything wrong with Rockport. I love Rockport. Uh, but you can't miss it if you don't leave, right? So it is nice just to leave and, you know, a short drive away. We have these beautiful areas. Do you ever get a song stuck in your head? I've had a song stuck in my head for about three days now. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I, I don't know what the song's called. It's as close as you're going to get to a joke today, kids. Look at that. Well, even the... Uh, The holding tanks in the distance are pretty. Some guys fishing up here. Let's go interview fishermen. They love that. First, let's go up and bother them. Then we'll make sure they all have their license. <laughs> that guy's probably a kayaker right there. He's got his truck backed right up. Let's avoid this mud patch here. It looks like a place where I would have to uh, call for help. I'd have to get a hold of my buddies at 361 Off Road on Facebook. I got up early. I got up before sunset and got washed up. And I went into Walmart for the first time in eight days, which means I talked to uh, talked to my buddies there way too long. I uh, all my friends work at Walmart. That's 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 my uh, social event of the day is when I going to Walmart and my buddy Tracy had told me about hmm, power pole utility pole the sugar-free monsters in a green can and I had never had those so for about three or four days now I've been thinking about sugar-free monsters in a green can and my Walmart had them, but I did not see them cold. So I have one, and I will put it on ice. And then tomorrow, I will give you a full report about sugar-free monsters. <laughs> what do you think that is, guys? You think that's a marker or some type of crab traps or fishing traps? I don't know. Maybe I'll straighten out the camera and make it look level. There's a nice group over here. They got a kayak and they got their fishing poles. Having a good time. Little social club. Yeah, uh, Saturday, weather and everything willing, I'm going to pick up Greg and we're going to come over to Port Aransas. Also, I've been talking uh, to my friend Joe and she would like to go to Port Aransas, so I might pick her up one day. Joe is a very nice friend of mine that um, I watched her dogs last year, Emma and Kizzle. And Kizzle has passed away, unfortunately. Uh, probably It's been a year since Kizzle passed away, so over a year since I watched her dogs. But um, she has three dogs right now, Kizzle. Bob, and I've met Bob, and uh, Lucy, so I still have to meet Lucy. Is this a nice little spot to hang out with your friends and have a conversation and have some idiot from YouTube show up and record you? <laughs> we'll leave them alone. Oh, where's some guys uh, wade fishing over there? And I hear those wades are delicious. Boom. Another joke. Are they fishing? Wish I had my glasses on. I could tell you if they had fishing poles or not. What do you think, guys? You people with larger monitors, do you see any fishing poles? Or are they just out checking those trappy things out there? Pretty cool. Here's a big mud area. 
for those of you people that have been saying, you know, Dennis, you just don't film enough muddy areas. There you go. There you go. This is how we do it, baby. That's another song that's been in my head, and I can't remember the name of it. That, that doesn't deserve a screaming goat. I slept good. I have not yet had coffee. So I'm surprised I'm rambling so much. Roamed and rambled and followed my footsteps to the golden sounds of her diamond deserts. If you can't sing well, sing enthusiastically. And if you don't know the words, don't be a sheep. Don't be a sheep. Don't sing the words that everyone else is singing. You just make up your own damn words. One, it's fun, and two, it'll piss somebody off. There's those nice people again, having a good time. Now someone's going to come take their spot. Ooh, I do not like this trash. What is this trash here? Beer cans. Look at that. Look at that. One, two, three, four. I'm not even going to count them. They left the beer box and the empty beer cans. What kind of pig does that? What kind of scumbag just throws their beer cans? I mean, there are trash cans around here. You could have put them back in the bag you bought the beer in. There's another beer box over there. So this is probably from last night. Huh. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to go pick up beer cans. Thanks for riding along today. I hope you have a good day. I'm glad they left this trash here because I'm going to go pick it up and I'm going to feel better about myself. And I'm going to pray for the people that, that left this trash here. wonder what's going on in their lives that they felt the need to do that. Mmm. Mmm. We circle around. I got a bag. I get my grabby stick. We're going to go pick up trash. Thanks for riding along today, guys. There's your postcard. Thanks for watching.